because you people are morons. Google and Facebook had to come up with new apps to make things easier for you. It looks like Apple's NFC chip isn't all it's cracked up to be. Driverless cars in California and Nest has some competition. Here we go. <laughs> This is your tech news update for Wednesday, September 17th. My name's Rusty G, and it looks like Google is having to update their security with a wizard app that is built into the website. You just go into your account page and go into your security settings, and you should see it there. It's like a five-step wizard that shows you how to do two-step verification, review of apps, review of passwords, and what has access, this and that. It's always been there, but because most people think it's way too hard to find, Google had to build a specific app for it. So go check it out. Go into your Google account, check out the security settings, and you should be able to see it. Following up with news to make things easier, it looks like Facebook Listen to the survey that went out just a few weeks back. It looks like they've got an app codenamed Moments, which makes it a lot easier to share just those private moments with just those private people, like your family or just your friends. Not that you couldn't do that already, but apparently you people just couldn't find the button. So now they're having to make an app for it. More news coming out of the Apple front, and they just keep coming. It looks like the NFC chip that Apple has put in the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus right now at launch will only be available for Apple Pay. So don't be expecting to be able to do anything cool with NFC, much like your Android partners that, you know, show you those cool things that we can do with it. Yeah, you won't be able to do that at launch. And that's not to say the developers won't make that a lot easier as the years go down the road with software updates and things like that. So for right now, NFC only for Apple payments. It looks like the competition's heating up for Nest with Echo Bee and their third generation device. It looks like their thermostat for $249 shipping September 29th will come with one thermostat and one sensor. And you ask, what's the sensor for? Well, what they do is they actually sense if you're in the room and whether that room needs to be cooled down or heated up, which is kind of cool because if you walk out of the room, it doesn't need to stay cold in there or hot, whatever you need. And for $79, you can buy another pair of sensors for two more rooms. So it gets kind of expensive fairly quick, but Nest, be on the lookout. Someone's on your heels. And for one final bit of news, it looks like as of yesterday, California DMV has given out permits and approved for 29 vehicles from the Volkswagen Group, which includes Volkswagen, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, and ones from Google, to be driven on the street. That's right, driverless cars in California. Most of you have already read about these things, but they have been beta tested on closed courts and things like that. So be on the lookout for that. Now, these aren't completely driverless cars in the event that someone does need to take over. There is someone in the driver's seat in case that the computer driving has an issue. The driver can take over, but just be on the lookout. They're there because it won't be long before we're in total recall days and we're all driving or riding in driverless cars. That's been your tech news for Wednesday, September 17th. Make sure you subscribe online, youtube.com slash TV. Friend us on Facebook, facebook.com slash TV. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash TV. If you're on Google+, we are gplus.to slash TV. And always, you can find everything online, textnation.tv. My name's Rusty G, and we'll see you in the next episode.